to have you with us, Alan. Today. Yes. Th thank you. I think I will have lots of fun today, too. Yes. It is good to see you. You have been at what? How many television stations? Twenty-seven. Uh, is that 27 true? Twenty-seven radio stations. That is, a, boy, that could get old real fast right. if we kept that up. I know it. I know it. Twenty-seven good radio stations, but one the best radio. Well, of station, course we of course. know that. But before yeah. we get to the best one, how can one person go from one place to another that often? By being inept, incompetent, and basically a poor employee. They loved it. So you see, those are the ways. You, you <laughs> That's a perfect talk show <laughs> person. We want to say that our viewers and your listeners can call 481-1313 right now. Or you can call Alan's show, which is what number? Oh, gosh, that's, uh, it's 11 on the radio dial, and, and it's 467-WBAL for the telephone. All right, but there's the All number, 481-1313. Right. Now, how did you get into this business? We just really confused them. You know that. We gave them two different numbers. They're going to get them all confused. There's going to be a pizza shop on East Baltimore Street. It's going to get all these phone calls. Bring pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, half pepperoni. I know. How did you get into this business a few years back? Oh, gosh, that goes back to when I was like uh, six, seven years old, living out in Middle River, Maryland, and I listened to the radio, and I was just entranced with what radio did. Well, oh, you're a local sort of, boy. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. I went to first, second, and third grade out in Middle River, Maryland, and, and uh, my folks were working out of Glen O. Martins, and then after mm -hmm. that, after the war was over, by the way, we did win, Richard. Uh, we went back. <laughs> we went back to Lincoln, Nebraska. The and that's war. where I, I was really brought up. I thought he meant the ratings. I'm not I sure know. what he was I, I don't know. Don't as, I re as I remember, Richard, this was the Second World War. You served in the first and the second. He was That's right. Yeah. I remember you were my commander. Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. This really that's okay. is your voice, isn't it? What's that? This is really your voice. No, 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 no. Actually, it isn't. I, I have How a very deep voice, very mellow voice. Uh, but I put on this really funky kind of adolescent voice just for radio. Did you use that voice when you asked your wife Sparky to marry you? Uh, no, no. Actually, I was on the ground. I was sort of prone like this, and she <laughs> says, You are you. going to marry me, aren't you? And I said, <laughs> Yes, I'll marry you. Is that voice. Now, I want to know a little bit more. Middle River, how did you get into the biz and work at 27 mm. stations? What is it about you that was so popular and then became unpopular that they exactly <laughs> thank, you. thank you richard i'll well, you ask know. that same question of you, you someday can. uh <laughs> no actually uh, there were a lot of format changes which means if you're not real successful well then they change the format we used to do uh, oh i do telephone talk and then they'd go to uh, irish polka music and that kind of thing you know after one telephone talk right. station where they they kept changing on so me. So the format's the changed on you. Yeah, I'd walk in one day and they say, "Hey, can you uh, can you do uh, Czechoslovakian uh, polka intros?" And I'd say, "No, I can't do that." And he'd say, "Sorry, you're not here anymore." Now you've been uh, here for a lo four and a half longer years, longer than, than half you. Years, yeah. It's a record for you. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's been a long time for me. I actually, I usually measure my my uh, employment record in in hours. But here I actually have gotten into weeks and months and Vacation years. Vacation time, yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Why do you think it works for you here in Baltimore and it hasn't worked as well other places? Oh, I'm so calm now in comparison. You're, this is yeah, calm. Yeah, this, this is, I'm so really, I'm, I'm Thorazine right now in comparison <laughs> to the way I normally am on, uh, on radio. Yeah. You're a crazy person. Caller, good morning. You're on the air here on Channel 13 and WBAL Radio with Alan Prell. Yes, this is Pat calling from Forest Park. Pat, speak up if you will. Oh, this is Pat calling from Forest Park. Yep. Okay, I wanted to ask Alan Prell, isn't he the husband of Rudy Miller? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Rudy Miller. Did you marry Rudy Miller? Are uh, you Rudy's? Actually, no, no, that goes back a long way. Uh, this goes back to the days when I actually played the part of a puppet uh, <laughs> on a weather show here, and that was when Rudy met me for the first time. And we had sort of a, a fling. As well, were, were you one of the voices oh, of JB? Or you, do you work for Cal Schumann? Oh, I work for everybody. Uh, just name off, just name off the white pages of the telephone book. And you've been there. No, you have to explain. <laughs> work for that person. You used to do a voice, a no, puppet's no, voice. No, no, actually, so I never. I, I never did a puppet's voice. You realize, of course, that most of the stuff I'm telling you is just a complete lie. Absolutely. I believe yeah. the part about Rudy. You mean you and Rudy never? No, well, really? that's that's just rumor. Uh, rumor. You know, it's just Innuendo. rumor. Uh, but you okay. could ask Rudy, and I'm sure she would grin and smile knowingly. Yes, Are you yes. still there, caller? Yes. What is it about Alan Prell that you like? Uh, <laughs> I think it's his lies. You like his lies? Yeah. yeah. So you're a big liar. No, not really, not really. You see, people can't accept the truth in this world, Richard. They really can't, so you have to sort of camouflage it with lots of other stuff, you know, but down there in the center, there is truth. It's called the kernel of truth, mm -hmm. and it's down in there somewhere. And we uh, just basically enjoy ourselves on the radio. And, and when, when you need to get serious, we are serious. And if you're having a good time, well, that's good, too. And sort you know, of people have to really listen for that, though, because you do a lot of political stuff. You do talk politics. Yep. I heard you recently, you were talking about uh, uh, the president's uh, 
possibly having sold arms to Iran, mm -hmm. and, and it was a serious conversation, but every now and then, you know, lots of ha-ha-has at the same time. Well, what it really gets down to is that the world changes. We're not all funny all the time, and we're not all serious all the time, and if you try and be that, I think that kind of gets boring real fast. So, when you listen to the Alan Prell Show on, on WBAL Radio, what happens is that we're trying to reflect what that person who's calling is bringing to the show. If they're funny, then we're going to be funny. And if they're serious, we'll be serious, too. We There's been a resurgence in talk radio now in this country. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because it sort of peaked, and then it went mm -hmm. down into a valley, and now it's, it's sort of coming back. Well, one reason it went away is that it's an extremely expensive format. And if radio stations want to do that, they really have to make a commitment. And usually you only find successful talk radio stations in very large markets, such as Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And you'll find it also... Uh, where a station has a real commitment, because it, it takes a lot of energy. Good morning, caller. You are on the air in a simulcast with uh, Channel 13 and WBL Radio. Good morning. Hi. Hi. My name's Stanley from Pasadena. Good morning, Uncle Allie. Oh, Stanley, you called just like you promised that you would. That's yeah. good. That's good, <laughs> Stanley. I've heard this guy on your radio huh? show before, too. I never have. Stanley, have you ever <laughs> called my radio show before? Oh, yes, you know me, Uncle Al. You call me Special Stanley. Oh, special that's Stanley? Special Stanley. I try and put him out of my mind as much as I can. Stanley, we'll give you 15 special today. seconds. Yeah, Stanley, what's on your mind today? Well, you see, that's, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it, Stanley Proof. All right, Stanley Caller, you're on the air. Again. Stanley's uh, thinking about that. Yeah. Stanley what do you want to say to Alan, Alan Caller? Hi, Richard. Hi. Uh, my name is Jean. I'm from Forest Hill, Maryland. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to say that I am surprised when I see Alan Prell because I pictured him as a Casper milk toast type person. And what do you think you got? Yeah. Somebody very nice. Oh, he's oh. very handsome. <laughs> Don't you all think Alan is extremely <laughs> Oh, what a setup. Thank you. That's good. They, they do everything on cue. They're yes. terrific. He brought his own applause sign. How could they not? Some of these are my radio audience that uh, are visiting right. us today. Let's look at the audience yeah, for just a moment. How American many of you people. are regular listeners, regular listeners to the Alan Prell radio show? <laughs> well, we found two ladies. You're out. But uh, <laughs> don't listen. What are you going to be doing now in the, in the segment? By the way, today? may what? I just drop in for a second? Because for benefit of radio audience, they're saying, what in the devil is going on? That's true. The, and we really need to say that we are simulcasting yes. on Channel 13, and we're broadcasting also at the same time on WBAL Radio. Otherwise, there are people listening to the radio right now saying, gee, well, he got another job, you know. <laughs> sure. Kind of you know, one no, no, of the no, fun no. things about radio, of course, is, the ima is imagination. You sort of hear oh, a voice, sure. and you wonder. And when you finally see somebody... Do you, it, it, it takes away some of the sexiness, do you think? Well, it didn't oh, take know. it away as far as you're concerned. Well, in your case, it didn't. Right. Right. <laughs> but, Linda, in your case, it only augmented oh, the sexiness that I already had. Oh, I fantasized. The numbers to call it. for Alan yes. are 481-1313 or 467-WBAL. We'll be back to do a yard sale with Uncle Al. Yeah, yard first yard ever. Yes, yeah. yes yeah. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Stay yard with us. We'll sale. be back with more in just a minute. <laughs> Tuesday, find out how you can improve life in your bedroom with a sensual makeover. Let's talk turkey about the holidays. It's the wrong bird, Dinah. Of course. For small family gatherings, the Holly Farm Sunday Best Roaster is perfect. Oh, it's five to seven pounds. Yeah. Fresh, juicy, yeah. plump, a lot mm, more tender. A lot more tender. With an old-fashioned taste mm. and easy to cook. Mm, so juicy. Oh, you said that, didn't you? Oh, perhaps. You did say it had a pop-up timer, didn't you? Well, I, yeah, uh, but... Did the... you say that it was naturally self-basting? Well, not yet, but you didn't say America's cooking with Holly Farm Sunday Best Roaster. I didn't? Well, it's great for a few. For more, serve two. This week on Our Magazine, meet Kenny Rogers, Lucille Ball, Larry Hagman, Lloyd Bridges, and film critic Siskel and Ebert. Then... The entire tail section broke off at an angle. Surviving a major plane crash. Dr. Rosenfeld with facts on cigarettes and women. Plus memories with George Goebel, Bob Crosby, Buddy Rogers, and Chubby Checker. This week on Our Magazine. Today at 10, here on Channel 13. I want you to meet Bess Ryan. What, where are you from, Bess? Timonium. From Timonium. Beautiful Timonium. And she's going to be Valley Women's Club. Valley Women's Club. Let's hear it for the Valley Women's Club. You're pushing the center. Oh, yeah. Can you Thank you very much. Step right over there, if you will, Bess. Eight top, 867. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight top, $867. The last four digits. 
our 7066, playing for Bess Ryan here in the studio from the Valley Women's Club. This money, I'm sure, if she wins, will go right to the Women's Club. None of it will go in her pocketbook. She's very, very philanthropic. There's our second ring and our third and final ring right now. One, two, three, sorry, Bess, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sorry, Bess. 7066, no answer. Next call worth $880. On Mondays, people are talking. Linda and I invite you to join us here because we're going to meet Dr. Karen Blaker, who's going to tell you about your most intimate secrets. All of us have some kind of secrets. The point is, which secrets should we keep? Which secrets should we tell? This includes family secrets that you may still be hiding, romantic secrets that are causing trouble, and those little secrets that keep your mate from, uh, well, not getting along very well with you. If you've got some things that, that you know inside, you don't really know how to deal with them because perhaps somebody's confided in you, let's talk about secrets a week from today. Call 481-3000. We'll also cook, cook a Thanksgiving turkey on the same program. 481-3000. Call right now. Group nice. of Alan Prell fans. Everybody's getting ready for one of Honest Al's fantastic yard sales. I've already seen things that I would like. Richard is over there right now helping to get it set up. And don't forget, we are simulcasting right now with Channel 13 on People Are Talking and also on WBAL Radio. So give us a call right now if you want to call here at the television station. It's 481-1313. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, I see something I want. Gentlemen, how do we do this? I want that television set. Right, here we are. This is, uh, Al, how do, what is this whole oh, format? Well, that's really a sort of semi-interesting question, and I'm really glad that you asked that. Otherwise, the people would think we're really foolish. Well, we ask uh, a lot of sort Sorted. Sort oh, sorted. Oh. Sorted questions right. are the best kind that we always use on Honest Al's Yard. Well, your name is what? Yeah. Yes, my name is Bill Botch. From where, Bill? From Catonsville, Maryland. All right, we don't want to botch this. We want to get this right. <laughs> what is... Okay. Oh, I'm, so, I'm, what, sorry, I'm sorry. What's the item that you're sorry, offering? I'm today? sorry. Okay, this is terrific. This is a 50-inch new color TV that sold for $10,000. Yeah. I paid $8,000 mm -hmm. for it. It's like the Isuzu commercial. I was willing to take $5,000, but for Alan, since it's a cheap show, Thank You're talking about the radio, the radio version radio. now. Right, yeah. right. This is class. This, <laughs> this is going to go for $25. Wow. I can take my wife to dinner and have a fantastic evening. Ooh. Yes, you can. And she can, yes. but even though she won't be able to eat on that. Four, <laughs> four, six, well, seven. he takes her to lunch, yes, she can indeed afford that. How do you get the item? Call the radio station? Is that how you do no, it? No, no. We, uh, we actually let him give his phone number out, and people, thousands, millions, three, right. will call up and buy his Look product. right into this camera, nice and yeah. tight. Romance the camera for 10 seconds and give your name and okay. make the women call. My name is Bill Botch, and the number is 747-5398. And if there's no answer, 347-7919. Well, you made it as confusing as possible, and that's what we like. Let's give Bill a round of applause. Yeah. Next right. item. Thank Come you on very much. Thank you, Bill. Over here. Thank you. Thank Over you. here. Oh, my goodness, this woman. This is mint condition, never it, been used. That's right. This is and, a collector's item. And I understand item. this winter is going to be really bad. Oh, so we yes. We need a, a measurer and the, the snowflake uh, bag. Well, this is the official snowflake <laughs> kit. That's I heard right. you talk about that's this right. one Saturday oh. for one hour nonstop. Look at that. I couldn't believe you would talk that long about one thing. Oh, yes, and it's made out of genuine... Paper. What would you and, think it's worth, Alan? A uh, hundred million dollars, <laughs> uh, but just for today only, a quarter. A it's quarter. worth a quarter. I got it for nothing, so. Uh, like I was and saying, I've never it's used it. worth a quarter. Well, it is. You see, on the other side, it actually shows, shows how the, deep the, the snow is. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Why don't you take this, it's look yeah. right into that still. camera, sell it for yes. 30 seconds. I'll give it the first bidder. Oh, oh, would you? Oh, give thank you. Yes, Come yes. on, look right yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah. Give your name and telephone number. Bert Everts, 252-7763, Valley Women's Club. Oh, oh of course, and the it's Valley Women's Club. Now yes. making it special in Next Valley. item, yes. isn't this fabulous? Oh, honest, Al's oh, yard sale. Would you do this? Most, oh, thank you, thank you. Alan, wait. You uh, can have this. This is a potato pillow, electric potato pillow. It you is. You one? Yes. Do we have to bring a potato to potato. demonstrate it? I have no idea. I forgot that. It this is. looks like something else, too, yeah, I must yeah. tell you. All right, Richard, that just I'm tells sorry. what you do on Friday nights. Okay. 
<laughs> the snipe not the statue. He doesn't know what Statue of Liberty. Right, of course, that's what are, what, you, what, are you talking about? About? what are you talking about? Shame on oh, you. you. Oh, you embarrassed me. This is a family <laughs> show. You uh, you uh, I've never seen me. a face this red on a... Oh. Tell us about your... Uh, your uh, potato pe peeler. Your so-called uh, potato, potato peeler. peeler. Actually, I got you. Sure, go ahead. Uh, that was uh, a gift gave to me a few years ago, but... Uh, I mean, I don't eat potatoes, so that's what I, I figured out. Now I'm sure. going to sell it. Mm. And uh, Alan Yard Sale, you know? Mm. Mm. Honest oh. Yard Sale. Yes, Honest Al's honest. Yard Sale. Yes. Heard Fridays honest. and Saturdays. Forbidden box oh. for, a was yeah. for, and no, a... No, dollar. My name, a dollar? Dollar. Oh, that's come on. Dollar. I'm right over here. Yeah, okay. Give your, uh, give a dollar. Me. A dollar. My name is Marietta Murphy, and my number is uh, 268. Five four seven seven. Give Maria a round of applause. I'm doing that. Maria, yeah. Thank you. Lovely Irish lady to come visit us today, oh, like that. Let's have a man okay. with the uh, oh, with the knives. Oh, it's a very friendly oh, neighbor, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is this is the knife man. What is your name? My name is Frank Minaldi. Frank yeah. Minaldi. Yes. yes. All right. You seem like a very sharp man. What would you like to talk to us about? <laughs> well, I have the edge on everybody, really. Uh -huh. Until oh, I saw this stuff. Oh, right. oh, oh. What I have here is my smaller knives. Smaller knives. What are you selling these? A half a dozen yes, for five yes. dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they're good for peeling potatoes. Mm -hmm. If you want to peel potatoes mm -hmm. or whatever. And for a half a uh, for half a dozen half a dozen. No, five dollars for a half a dozen. Oh, five dollars. Well that big And I've brought other other knives with me, uh, Ooh. some butcher knives, some French knives. Smaller. Why are you butcher. getting rid of all these knives? I mean what what well, is the problem? The, the in your restaurants house? that I serve uh, throughout the city, uh, they say just getting a little bit too small and uh, they, they like little wider blades. Mm -hmm. So this is yeah. just what's uh, what's being left over. And I, I Alan, please, we'll let you on again. Put it down. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. I was going to say this started out as it was six feet long until he started to uh, grind it down. That's how long it is today. Are your phone number, knife man? Uh, it's four two six six seven two zero, and I'll be there uh, after uh, twelve o'clock noon. Yes, yes. All right. Some kind of knife man. And I have uh, brand new knives also to sell. Really? If you have, any, right. if you like have ha anything to be sharp, and you can also bring All it down right. and have Frank, it sharp. Frank, goodbye, Frank. On well, our people are trading. We don't like goodbye. commercial guys. No, no. Come on. Get out of here, Frank. No deal. Come on, 86 out of here. 23 skidoo. All right, we have a couple of minutes right. left. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. How about the lady with the, uh, with the locomotive? And then oh. the lady, we'll do, we'll do that, and then that one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this oh. is. You know, you two, oh. I thought all your listeners oh. were 75 or oh. older. Well, she is. She just I, retained her youth so well. So well. She is 75 years old. The Fountain of Youth on Radio 11. What, what is this? <laughs> oh, this is great. It's a noisemaker. Al obviously. Sanders would no, love this. No, no. Oh, that Ooh. is fabulous. That just sold it, didn't it? Oh. Hey, oh. man, listen to oh. You look at the way you two look at each other. Is there something oh, going here we don't understand? Oh, that's ecstasy. Tell me this is the first time you've seen Alan Pearl. Tell, tell it is. What do you th well, let me ask you this. What do you think? I thought he was taller. <laughs> I had this <laughs> image of Don Johnson. Yeah. Are you disappointed or are you just elated? He's such a sweet guy. What do you think? Be honest. I want, I want to sell this. <laughs> you want to sell this? I'm not disappointed. And uh, she wants to sell it. That's I know. A when she thinks of Alan, she says... All right, in any case, what are you doing with the, How much is the train? Describe your item right here to this camera. It's a, a little tight train uh, for $50. Oh. And, but see, it goes, I think. You get and on it, see, and it goes. And it, it goes. Yeah, right. Oh, I let's see. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can well, Let's put it down on the floor. Ooh, you can ride it. Let's not oh, ride it on the table. Oh, it's heavy, Alan. Well, it's don't hurt yourself, Richard. I don't Richard. want to. Don't hurt yourself. You want to get on that, Alan? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Will it take Alan? No, it won't. Oh, that oh, is great. Oh, oh, she's saying it'll take light things. <laughs> but, but not heavy. So you want fifty dollars or the yeah. best offer? Will you take twenty five for it? No, you have fifty dollars. Okay. One like more item. Put the blankets. Okay, Thank you. Okay. And this is it. And then we'll we're gonna do some doodling. You're... Oh yes, yes, exquisite doodling. Good morning. Oh, okay. Good morning. Here, Alan, hold this yes, mic I'll on her if you will. Happy to do that. Yes, yes. And your name, dear? My name is Alice. Uh huh. And Alice, oh, what you bring? Do you make here? these? Do you oh, make these? Yeah, these are huge cloth Kleenex type things. Uh, Alice, come around here, Alice. Isn't come that what you? No, don't wipe your nose. Oh, I thought, I thought, oh. I thought they were. Oh, I thought they were great big Kleenex type uh, hankies or something. I'm sorry, they're not for that purpose at all, are they? No, they're not. Oh, what are? Mm. What Did it is keep their you purpose? warm? Did it keep to you keep warm? And how much are they? And your phone number? Okay, this one's uh, 150. And my phone number is 566-8405. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Yeah, it's unbelievable sure. now. And thank you very much. I'm going to, I'm going to put this cover, Alan Prell. Oh. Watch it. Shoot this oh. nice and tight, Jimmy. Oh, oh, Richard. Wait, shoot this tight. I'm going to show you a little, a little magic trick. A little trick. magic here. This is a little bit, a little yeah. bit of magic. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a little bit of magic. Now watch yeah, this. Yeah. Everybody oh. count to three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One. No, no. Yeah. Oh, get over yeah. there. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three. He's gone. And we'll be back in just a moment.
Wednesday, see some flashy fashions from top Hollywood designer Bob Mackey. a bag of bargains at Super Super Foods this week and treat your family to all the best. Everybody's favorite Green Giant canned vegetables. You choose. You'll agree Green Giant goodness really shows. Wholesome Green Giant vegetables in a convenient 16-ounce poly bag. Delicious and microwavable, too. Delicious farm-fresh goodness all year round. Four ears of Niblet's corn on the cob on sale this week. With every bite, Green Giant goodness really shows. Remember, it's bag of bargains time at Super Super Foods. Hurry and save. What'd you buy? Oh, you'd be surprised. When you go to Caldor, nothing surprises me. VCR. Uh. Okay, set. Ah, uh, you'll see. This week at Caldor, you'll see the Sharp Carousel 2 family size microwave oven on sale for just $199. And all Casio calculators are on sale, plus their calculator watch is on sale and their famous Casio keyboard. You'll never not find it at Caldor. Time is running out. We're transforming the athletic facility at Towson into the latest in health club design, the Holiday Super Fitness Center. And while we're in the process, you can save 59% off pre-opening savings. Holiday's new and exciting environment, certified instructors, and incredible variety of top name equipment will keep you coming back and feeling great. This 59% savings will be gone forever once the transformation is complete. Grab it before it's gone. Past the old El Paso, taste the old Southwest. Past the old El Paso, taste our very best. Taste the flavor of the old Southwest in old El Paso taco shells, taco sauces, and our thick and chunky salsa. So, pass, pass, pass the old El Paso. yard sale, and I think that really went well. I saw some things I wanted, but, uh, you You know. did? Well, yes, that is yes, amazing. Yes, I'm surprised really at did, your yes. poor taste. Uh, I know, it's really, that. really tacky, but what can I do? Now, one of yes. the other things, you remember, you know, Dr. Doodle. Oh, yes, there. yes, Dr. and you know Doodle. what I'm missing right now? Could someone please hand me this? This I can't do this officially okay. until I have my Dr. Doodle hat. Oh, That's my right. goodness, how uh, do you want to sail you know, in? Then you don't even know if indeed Here I am we go. a real <laughs> doodler or not. And that is, and this is such a Will yes, you hold I, that place yeah, because to. there needs to be a certain charm oh, to being so. Dr. Doodle. All, and is, so oh, there's Dr. Doodle. You see, I Alan, went to uh huh. You. Is it me? Huh? Yes. I, I think so. Something yeah. to hold your brains in. <laughs> <laughs> Have you Sorry. ever called the program? Because I'd like to invite you not to do that. I, I really would. Yes, I'm, I'm going to call you. I need to be quicker than the okay. callers. Yes, you understand yes, that. yes. So I understand. Let me explain a little bit about uh, Dr. Doodle, okay. and that is I went to the Catonsville School of Doodleography, mm. and, uh, and, and out there I learned an awful lot about doodling. Now, we're going to ask the audience here to doodle, but you can only doodle for 60 seconds. So we're going to show you some other doodles. Doodle for 60 seconds. Now, don't try and be artistic. This is the exact way you doodle when you're on the telephone or you're just wasting time at the office or whatever. Okay, so you use any portion of the paper you want, and then we'll, I, as an expert, an avowed expert, and as one who possesses the doctorate in this, of course. I will be able to explain your doodle oh, to okay, you. Now okay, wait, so. doodle now wait, doodle now. All right, right now, right. while you start doodling, no, I will sorry, show some doodles, right too. I hope they're not paying right any attention. Right straight ahead. Okay, now, this is uh, an actual doodle. Uh, it's a copy of what Betty Crocker uh, what she did uh, with her doodling. You see, uh -huh. you can either look at it that way or this way. See, what would it be if it were this way? What would you uh, say that is? I, th I, w I would say, Dr. Doodle, that mm -hmm. that is a two-legged stool. Yep, that's exactly what ah. it would look to a lot of people, a no, two-legged stool. But actually, it is a birthday upside-down cake. Oh, you see that? Oh, oh birthday upside-down cake. Yes, that's what it is. I like that. I like that. Okay, now, okay. Here's one. Now, this is very interesting. It's a sort of symmetrical with the line through it. Easy. But, easy. Easy. But can you do it without ever lifting your pencil or pen from the uh, piece of paper? Can you do that? Oh, say no. It'll, it'll, no. it'll act, it'll make it more showbiz no. even say okay, no. no. Okay, you start this way and you go like this 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 and you go like this. 
Uh oh, I missed uh -oh, it. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think you can do that. I think that's impossible. That's an impossible duel. You can't do that. Okay, here's a small uh, doodle here. Oh, we know here. this one. Yeah. All you do? Things. Sure. Well, actually, the little boy was only four years old when he started doodling that. His first name was Albert, and he lived in Switzerland. And, uh, and he did this for years and years and years and had absolutely no comprehension of what this meant. But little Albert finally figured out that is the whole theory of atomic relativity. That's e right. equals mc squared. But he had no idea. He did that for years and years and years without any idea of what it meant. And a lot of us in school studied it for years and years and still, and still don't know what it means. Now, wait a second. They're being very fancy oh with their goodness. Time to stop. Wait, Time wait, to wait. stop. We're going to ask this lady to stand up. Yes. If we can get you out of there. I'm going to oh. pull your things out of there. I want you to stand next to Dr. Doodle. I can't believe that right. this is the doodle that she normally does doodle. Oh, she's embarrassed. What's is your she name? really? My name's Ruth Costello. All yes. right, Ruth, hold your doodle up right, in, right up. in front of Dr. Doodle's chest. It, well, or <laughs> better yet, in front of her chest. Okay, well, uh, I would, what, would you try and explain this? Because Dr. Doodle would say this is a pictograph, which means this, that it's actually a representation of a real-life uh, situation. This is you. Uh-huh. While we're on the radio and on TV at the same time. Oh. I like that. Okay. Oh, all right. that's very, all very right. nice. Uh, okay, not good. Good. Nice. So all that's right. all right. All right. No, that's now, okay. Now, if you can get You're in very there. very artistic. And this yes. gentleman right yes. back. Oh, my heavens. Oh, oh, this. Oh, see, oh, this is the kind Dr. of thing that we're Freud. really talking about. That's right. Woo. Here's a man who is obviously a very <laughs> anxious <laughs> fellow. No, I'm Look serious about this. this. Doodles really have a great deal to do with reality. Uh, he's trying to Hold make the world higher. trying so, to make uh, the world fit into little boxes you see he's a very precise fellow and he also has very negative uh, approaches about a lot of things in the world you see he puts his world in a box and then he crosses it out well let's let's huh? give the uh let's give yeah the that is true i'm the way for you don't know what tell you're us your name about. and tell us what this really is harry weitzman harry, harry what is this we're looking at well what is you try to make this Without taking your your pencil off the uh, oh, oh you're okay. back to the other, the other doodle. doodle. Oh, well, I see. Harry, you failed miserably. Goodbye, Harry. It's your history of your mixed All up right, personality. Right over the floor. Right. There you go. Come on, right we here. Are still doodling. Oh, you've still got to stop doodling as of now. You here she stop. is on this side. Yes, so on this oh, side, yes, we yes, have another doodle. Hello, fast. dear. Your name, Teresa Little. Teresa Little of the leather hat. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Oh, a sick little doodle. Oh, hold it up. Oh, a we, we sick. Now, you see, see, see how she's trying to connect all the world into one thing. All are different. See, oh, Harry over there, his were all separate, his right. little worlds. He was not, uh, he, he was not an integrated personality. Fortunately, uh. this lady is. See, she puts all her worlds into little boxes and then tries to connect them. Well, that's them. deep in thought. Huh? When you're deep in your thoughts. That's well, look, right. You know that's Teresa, very you accurate. are a romantic. She is a romantic. Stop. I don't know whether you can see the little itsy bitsy oh. part. Right You've gone center? to the same school of doodleography I oh, did. They're My for you, goodness. Pearl. That's they're for the, you. Are they oh, really? Right. Yeah. Well, I'll just Teresa, remember them you. forever. Thank you very All right. much for them. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Turn right around. Yes. Hop yes. Right in now the here was one of our uh, folks from the uh, okay. from the yes. uh, Honest Al's yeah, yard sale. Yes. Oh. Actually, what it, would you try and describe well, this? Because I think I, it's sick. Well, I didn't, I didn't think you'd be able to because this is uh, in great detail a psychological profile of four people. Uh oh. oh. You, Richard, Linda, and me. Oh, is no. that right? Where would yes. Richard be? Richard's the one. Uh, oh. I'm Richard's oh. one step above. No, I won't see. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank we see you, him there. I, yeah. I recognize yes. him. I, I think what you're really trying to do there is is to try and show that you don't have any concept of anything artistic. <laughs> I think that's what you're really showing that's is well, you lack total creative yes. ability. I, I learned these things from the Alan Pearl show. Okay. Yes, well, right. of course, and that's why you fit in <laughs> so well. Here. All right. So oh, get out of here. And Thank you. Look, your history, <laughs> and uh, here's another duty. Oh. No way. You must have known that we were going to be doodling because you are wearing a doodling shirt. I am. She right? is <laughs> indeed. Oh you goodness. are a walking doodle. Well, I'm a walking oh, and a musical uh, person uh, too. Turn it yes, around. Yes, turn around. Turn around. And you know that you know Can doodles you are very fascinating, and they do show an awful lot about people's personalities. Because here you have a musical scale That's and all right. that. And and do you have any musical ability whatsoever? I'm an entertainer. You're an oh, entertainer. Right. Oh, work the block or what? No, uh, <laughs> not that kind of entertainer. No, 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 I'm a singer on cruise ships. Oh, Are you really? Can well, you wait, I was about to ask her. Can you <laughs> sing us to a break? Um, 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, let's That's a good song. <laughs> I like, oh my well, don't forget what we have to do That's here. Right. No, I've got to take Alan. Oh you can sing to the break. Right. I'm taking you down to That's WBAL right. Radio. I'm on my way. Dr. Doodle's taking we'll leave. We'll see you down there. We want you to see what his little studio looks like. <laughs> right. It's going to be so exciting. Bye. We'll see you on the radio. Tell me your name. My name is Kay Baller. Kay Baller. Kay Baller. I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar places. And that's about as all I, I like can remember. That. I can't that's remember the rest nice. of the words. I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> we will continue in just Thank a minute. You. And I'll tell you, there's a mad dash on right now. Alan and Richard are heading for the door. In just a minute, we'll be back and we'll see them right down the hill at Radio WBAL. See some flashy fashions from top Hollywood designer Bob Mackie. To get to Florida in style, you'd have to load your car with a few extras, like a first-class chef, a proper table setting, a piano, movies, and a comfortable bed. Or simply load your car on Amtrak's Auto Train and enjoy all these extras on board. Now with savings up to 20%. All on board, America. All on board, Amtrak. The Japanese love tradition. So today the family's off for an afternoon of fun. And like in America, no game is complete without, yes, you guessed it, the delicious ballpark snack, Nissen's Cup of Noodles. It's an original recipe of noodles, oriental spices, meat and vegetables that just can't miss. Add boiling water and hot dog, you'll have a snack that's fast becoming an American tradition, like baseball. Use your noodle and try a cup of noodles from Nissen. Oh, is it wild in here today? Of course, Alan and Richard are on their way down to WGAL Radio. We'll pick them up in just a few minutes. We'll get a look at uh, Alan's office. Right now, time for our second call. If eight is your lucky number, this could be it. Eight top, eight hundred eighty dollars. Eight top, eight hundred eighty dollars. All right, eight top. Two, four, six, eight. Last four digits, two, four, five, eight. How about that? Somebody should probably uh, remember that number. All right, two, four, five, eight. Eight top, eight hundred eighty dollars. Keep that in mind. Next Friday, November the twenty-first, Dr. Karen Blaker will be here. She's been on the show before, and you seem to really like her a lot, and she's an interesting woman. She's going to be talking about secrets. Hello, this is Linda Harris from Channel 13's People Are Talking. How are you this morning? Do you happen to know the count in the mountain of dialing for dollars jackpot? have a lot of money to give away. Tick tock. Well, it's what? You know, you are not far wrong. Too bad you're guessing. <laughs> nice to talk to you. It is $880. Eight top. It is going right now because you didn't know exactly. Eight top, eight hundred ninety-three dollars. So you were real close. Nice to talk to you. Bye bye. He said eight hundred ninety dollars. He was right between the amounts. Mm, I know. Is that too bad? Eight top, eight hundred ninety-three dollars for our next call, our last one in this hour. Dr. Blaker is going to be here to talk about secrets. Mm. And we all have secrets. There are things that we find ourselves telling uh, close friends, and you think, my God, I didn't mean to say that. And there are other secrets that we do seem to manage to keep. Well, she's going to be here to talk about family secrets that you might be hiding, romantic secrets that might be causing you trouble, maybe a secret that you really do need to tell somebody, but you just haven't quite found a way to do it. So if that program interests you, I think it's going to be very, very intriguing. Please join us next Friday, November the 21st, right here, Dr. Karen Blaker, who is a, a psychologist, is going to be here to tell us about that. 481-3000, 481-3000. And don't forget, the Deli at Cross Keys sends us wonderful, wonderful pastries, so you don't want to miss those. Richard and Alan are on their way to his studio, and I understand that they are there. But first, I want to find out. Now, you are really hardcore Alan Pearl fans, is that right? Yes. Now, yes. but this is television, so you get to see him here, and he gets to see you, not like radio. Right? Okay. 
Now, how many of you have ever seen his studio, his office? Of course, you've been everywhere. He's been on the show twice this morning. You've talked as much as we have, but the rest of you have not, right? All right, now is the chance because by the miracle of television and radio, we take you now for the first time ever live from our studios at Channel 13 down the hill to WPAL. Put on the headphones. This is so you claustrophobic, can, man. Yeah. Put on the headphones so you can. You can't see be big. You saying. can't be big and work in radio. Oh my goodness! This is my world. This Welcome to my world. Won't you walk on in? Hey, there isn't is much nice. room for walking. Though. Give us, if you will, a few minutes a tour. Could you please let's look let's look around. <laughs> Start, give us a, a brief. Oh, that'll take ten seconds. Because we've never we've never done this before well, on television. Well, there's a WBAL sign that's very important to us, and then of course, oh Richard, you Sir. would you would feel very comfortable in this because a lot of people wouldn't recognize this, but this is truly a padded room. You see, look. See, that's all rubber Absolutely. Padding. That's all. So when we get really frustrated, you know, we just take a run at the wall. Ah, that's yes. your problem. All right. <laughs> It is 9.36 here on Radio 11, WBAL in Baltimore. Boy, you did that well. Richard the Jay Schiff. Grayson Show. Oh, I come on, I'm come sorry. on now. You're embarrassing me now. Hey, by hey, the look way. At, look at us. For, oh, my goodness, we're on TV. We look that like is... Jones and West, uh, give well, or take eight uh, or nine hundred pounds. That's right. Yes. 20 or 30 years, too. <laughs> that's right. Hey, Richard, we what? have to explain to everyone who's listening to us on WBAL radio that we have just finished being at your studios, Channel 13, up here on, on Television Hill. Right. And then we took the world's shortest limousine ride down to here, and, and we just burst in here. So we're splitting up the show today. Half of it, people are talking up from uh, Channel 13, and then the other half from here at WBAL Radio. And that has never been done before. So what you're seeing on television right now is actually it's Alan right. Prells and uh, Joe Lombardo's. And, and Ron, well, Ron Smith. Ronnie, and, Ron sure. Smith is on 1 to 4. Right, and the whole crew. I bet they're looking at us right now saying, gosh, I think I could do better. Do you know that, that's what they'd all be saying. Years ago, years ago, back in 1975, I worked yeah. here that's with right. Gail and Fromm in the, the newsroom. The stories are still here. <laughs> we still have the empties back in the supply room. I mean, you left a lot Holes of history. Holes in the wall. That's yeah. right. You left a lot of history yes, here sir. at WBA. A lot of wounds in my back, yes, my friend. Yes, all yes. All right. Anyway, let's. Uh, hi, Paul. There's Paul. He's our engineer. Paul was here when I was here. He You're was, kidding. He was younger then. Actually, they built the building around Paul, our engineer. Look he at was this shot. This is great. Is this a Paul, great? Paul, turn, turn oh, around. Paul, just oh, turn. There is Paul. There is Paul. In a wide shot. Oh, yeah, Paul, yeah. Paul, turn yeah. around again. Let him yeah, take a look. Yeah, That's yeah. a profile. That's he goes to Ocean City every, every year with us, and we have a grand time uh, at the beginning of the uh, holiday season at Ocean City. We do a big broadcast from down there live. All right, so you get you have a little computer screen here. Oops, yep, yep. I don't want to touch that, yep. but this tells Go you... Go ahead and touch it. No, no, I don't want... Go touch. ahead. I want you to touch Number it. Number line two is Jerry. Jerry. He wants, he wants to sell his cousin. Well, I we don't, find that really difficult. Very nice. I find that difficult. A to real believe. family man, Jerry. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. should we go and do like what we do on the radio here with the Alan Prell show? Heard each day, nine to one o'clock. What do huh? you want to do? Did you notice how I kind of slipped that one in there? Is That's that right. okay, Richard? Well, we're showing your show now to 75, 85,000 people who've never mm -hmm. uh, heard it before. Well, gosh, I got 75 or 80 people listening, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Let's go over to the phones here, and we're going to talk with uh, Jerry, who who wants to be on the radio, no doubt, with Richard. Isn't that right, Jerry? Yeah, I want to see what you look like. You look much better on television than on radio. You know, I noticed that, yeah, too. You do. You do. I, He's I, not talking about me. He's no, talking no, about you. No, but I, I do look better on television than on radio. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what it is? It's your hair. Is it the hair? Oh, I, I got that all kind of squished down and, and, uh, and uh, glued is the word. Yeah, yeah. I think you look great. Now, line three yeah. is Constance who wants to know if you're going national. Okay, okay, well, first we'll say goodbye to good old Jerry. And then and you punch the one... You're doing this so good. Who, why do I need to be hit here? Hit line three, let me... Hello, See, Constance. He takes over you're on the... Shh, you're on the Alan Prowl Show on WBAL Radio. Hello? Yes. All right, I wanted to ask Alan, does he remember that I told him after watching him on WBAL and on Evening Magazine that he would end up in TV? Oh, and I did. You know, I'm, I just... I. I you know those little matchbook covers mm -hmm. and they say you can be in television too right. and i included I, I sent it in and everything and i am learning how to repair television sets so i will be in television very very soon i'm looking forward to that well, can i it's a thrill seeing you but my dentist has you on every day 
Is that right? He's very intelligent and very fair, and he said, you will go national. Is Absolutely. That right? Is that right? Uh, is he using me instead of anesthesia? Absolutely. Is that it? No more music. It's just you. Oh, oh, no dentist office music. No, that's, that's great. great. That's, Your that's show, great. and they clean the plaque out of the gums while oh, they're listening same to Alan Prell. Yeah, same, similarly painful. Constance, yes. thank you for thank your you call. Thank you for being a I part of our program, yes. Look at this. Can we talk to Linda back there? Is she, uh... Oh, is Linda's she... back there, too. Yes, Linda's on TV, sort of. There I'm she here, is. I'm here. You know, we're just sort of hanging around, roasting under the hot lights. Uh-huh, You know uh -huh. how television is? We're hot, right, guys? Uh -huh. Whoa, how are you doing? Are you enjoying this? Yes, it's very nice. I enjoyed it. It's the first time I was here, and I really liked to be here and see Alan Pearl. You're an Alan Pearl fan? Yes, I am. Did you have any idea his studio was so cramped? No. <laughs> this is so much fun. Are you having a good time down there, guys? We are having the time of our lives. In fact, Alan has invited uh, you and me, Linda, to be on his uh, radio show mm -hmm. every Monday. That's oh, right. Oh, nice. Alan, right. thank you. I don't entirely believe it. But... Well, I, I can invite you. It's just that you won't be allowed. I, mean, I that, see. You know... <laughs> they stop us at the door. That's right. That's I, right. I, but I this understand. is a nice sort of friendly get-together. You, you know, know, we're almost competitive sometimes. You guys are being yeah. shot through glass, I notice. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. It does Protect wonders for, for your crow. Woo! You look great. I tell you what, Linda, we have. Wait a we minute. We just have another call, I think. Uh, really, <laughs> we really should move right oh, wait, along. Take line two. Would <laughs> take you please? Take line two. Okay. Oh, no, and then we or Judy with a weird question. Take line three. Oh, oh. Judy? You know, Richard, you're acting like you're the producer of my radio show. No, but show. I love weird questions. Oh, okay. Well, here's Judy with, with a weird question. Hello, Judy, with a weird question. Hi, Alan. Hi. I was wondering if you would do your top seat at a grande call that you do with your food commercial. Oh, I'm not going to do any singing like that today. I We already had one singer on our program today, and I think that was really enough, especially after hearing her. Sure. Yeah. Can we so, do one more? Thank you. So, how, yeah. Which one do you want to do? You take oh. your choice. Oh, it's your really? It's, I'm going to have that choice to do that. Okay, well, let's see here. I'm amazed. We have lots of phone calls well, today. This is because it's on TV at last. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, maybe that's let's the reason. Let's try Jim. Yeah, that's the reason. 467-WBAL, that is our number. Do you think we are uh, getting a signal here to take a break? You have not thrown up to a break on television. This is your opportunity. Is now, this look, my break? Look right up there at that uh -huh. lens. Uh -huh. Let's I'm get looking. nice and tight yeah, on Yeah, yeah. What do I say what, now? We're what gonna tighten, I say? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Now, you throw to the break on... Okay. Go take your time. Okay. We're going to be back with more of our program in just a moment on Channel 13 and Radio 11 WBAL. Magical, mythical, marvelous, shining moment. Richard Harris starring in Camelot. One, three, shining moment! The sparkling Lerner and Lowe Broadway musical classic returns live on stage for the whole family. Man, it's me how to think. Don't miss Richard Harris, Man, Camelot. For tickets, call 625 1400. You know, I can't believe I used to wear a mini skirt and those little white go-go boots in the dead of winter. Well, these days, no way are we going to sacrifice warmth when we want to look stylish. I mean, look at these boots from Payless. We're talking warm, we're talking stylish, and they've got a good price to boot. I had to say that. Right now, save on fashion weather boots for women, lined for extra warmth, and on sale for just $15. Payless Shoe Source. You could pay more, but why? My puffin stuffings are a date at eight. But you Yanks have got new Pillsbury fig and poster puffin stuffings. Puffin stuffings from a fig and poster? Ain't nothing like puffin stuffings. Hmm, bunchy croppings. True Marys. Even oyster in the kit and fiddle. But taste. Oh, that's a bit of all right. New Pillsbury so toaster great. muffins and I toaster strudel. Like. You never toasted anything like it. <laughs> Everything's changing. You know, you blink your eyes, and it's different. So uh, I just try not to blink my eyes. It's new. I'll tell you, some of it's been better, and some of it's not. Can I just have my typewriter back? I'm a salesman. You're a salesman. I'm a pipe fitter. Uh, it'll be all right. You know, we'll handle it. We uh, we always have. Jerry Turner, Eyewitness News.
studios of WBAL and also on Channel 13's People Are Talking. This word just in, there will be no racing at Laurel today. That's right. That's how I actually that get just, all my big numbers. That just handed me. That's how I get high ratings on radio is that actually no one pays any attention at all to our program that's normally on. They all just tune in to find out what the race scratches are from Laurel. So there's no scratches today from Laurel. I must ask you before we take a call, and that yeah. is you've been doing this for four and a half years. Your ratings are terrific. You have a lot of younger viewers now, so the complexion... Listeners, listeners, you have young viewers. I have young viewers. The complexion listeners. of your listeners is changing. I mean, they're a lot younger and so forth. Sure. And how do you do this four hours a day, sit here and, and listen to people uh, complain and, and get crazy? Oops. Well, I, I think that's a good question. I'm surprised that you were able to come up with it. But uh, the... Uh, well, I read your book. Did you really? Yes. Well, okay. I'll, I'll fill that. I'll the help best you. of Alan Pro. It's really? two pages. It's I, very nice. That's right. And I'll read it to you sometime. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I just enjoy what I'm doing. The ultimate reason that you can succeed if this is success, and that is that you enjoy what you're doing. Richard, you love being on TV. I love it. I love being on radio. Love working with Linda? Love, lo Have yes, she's a lovely person. I saw I, you looking at her, by and, the way. And by the way, in a strange I, way. I want to thank Linda for holding up your end of the show, too. But anyway, uh, it's just a lot of fun to do something like this. It and, is. And, and that's what it ultimately is about. You try and educate, you try and entertain. Well, you do a good job. That's why so many people are listening and watching. And look who's online, why not? person named Chip. All right, we push our little buttons just like that. It's like a miracle, and we say, hello, Chip, you're on the air. Good morning, Uncle Allie. How are you? Well, I think you're just about one of my favorite little nephews in the whole world. Well, I thank you, and good morning to you, Richard. Good morning to you. Uh, Alan, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, can we expect more info on the Snow Sissy program this year? Oh, gosh, the Snow Sissy program is very, very important. If you were looking at the uh, first half Snow hour of the show Sissy. on Channel 13, a lady <laughs> actually had... Uh, one of the most important things on earth That's to right. get get along in this area the and measuring. snow gauge yeah. snow gauge and the uh, emblem uh, which it certifies you as a snowflake so it was really a fantastic sort of uh, uh, ridiculous thing to have so we are going to indeed have a snow sissy uh, gathering uh, during the first snowfall but because you're all snow sissies you won't show up for it anyway no not me listen yeah. I got I got a thing though uh, that might be uh, applicable for both channel 13 and uh, WBAL all right how about if you work out with Don O'Brien the weather guy on a snow sissy phase alert like they have in the Ooh. different counties oh that's good like you go uh, phase right. four three two one right. and like then run and yeah. get the candles run and get the canned goods right get the bread it's get a long the call for tv we yeah gotta okay we gotta here. move along okay thank you what boy you sure are a pusher on this well, thing no, the thing is huh? we like to keep move it on move it along move. but here see, is somebody has a question got... about your looks that's Wait right a we, we have quality on Jim, this program what do you want to know about alan's looks uh, hi alan uh I took and uh, listen to your show, a mechanic, when I'm out road testing the car and stuff, I listen to you as much as I can. And uh, my first impression I had of you, that you were a small, short, thin, ball-headed uh, little wimp. So, yeah. you're, so you yeah. haven't been disappointed, have yeah. you? I'll tell you what, I, I took the day off today, and I just happened to catch this, and I kind of was uh, impressed that he doesn't look as bad as I thought he did. Nah, he's Isn't great. That That's nice a very nice compliment. Let like me get that, that out of your back. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. very nice. Compliments like that we can live with forever. Yeah, I do have to say, one thing I do enjoy about him is that, uh, especially on his yard sale, he tells the people like it is about their junk that they're trying to sell, because most people come up with this stuff if it was so great, they'd be able to sell it to other ad stuff. And if it isn't, they have to use Alan's show. I mean, you got to use the last resort when you have to. So. Well, I sure appreciate the compliments, right, Richard? That's huh? right. Uh, you never know. It'll probably ne be next week that I'll be over there nice borrowing money from him. He took the day off, especially yeah. to see what Alan Pro really looked like. Nice. Well, he, has, he has to improve the ratings for um, people are talking, too. So. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. hope maybe we've done a little bit for his radio yeah, show, yeah. too. It's Just all sort of complimentary. It's one hand washing another, well, stuff like that. It's fun sitting here talking to you and watching you on TV at the same time. So. All right. Well, I appreciate the call. Thank you, Chip. All righty. Bye-bye. Uh, our number, 467-WBAL, and we're going to be able to also on radio talk a lot more in the next uh, couple hours. That's right. You're on until 1. That's right. We're on until 1 o'clock today. Now, when somebody calls in, so there's a producer that sort of mm -hmm. answers the, and screens the calls, Well, right? today, usually I have to do this because it's a low-budget operation, so I, I usually do that myself because I like to find out how foolish they're going to you be. You do your before own screening. They, yeah. You're a busy man. Linda, what's on your mind? Well, we're just sort of hanging out here waiting for uh, some people to be able to say something to Alan. I like your company. I didn't know you had such classy fans, Alan. Oh, thank you. Comes uh, as no surprise. <laughs> Alan, first of all, I want to say I think you're cute. Thank you. I think you're kind of nice, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, secondly, oh, maybe a number of months ago, you had one of the most interesting programs on about evening in Paris perfume. Oh, yeah. Could you do something like that again for no, we no. old folks? No, no, I won't. No, no. We, the, the strange thing is people say, why don't you do that again? Why don't you do that again? And I like to do something once 
And then if you weren't listening, that's too bad. But I, I, I really do. I, I kind of think you have to you move like, along. As I heard, you like to do things only one time in life. Well, it's, in some rare exceptions, that's not true, Richard. But All right, so two. I guess you could identify with that more than me. Okay. Should we go to another call here? Are we going to... Sure. Huh? Let's, uh, let's uh, talk to... Uh, we've aired five calls. Oh, my goodness. Teresa oh, also wants to record. compliment your looks. No, no. Let's, right, no, no, we don't want to talk to Teresa till after 10 o'clock. Then I'm going to want to hear that. Uh, Tony is out there, and he is on line three. How do you know Tony's a he? How do you know Tony's because a he? Because it's a T-O-N-Y. Okay, you see? stop. Hello, Tony? I got to prove you guys I'm a he, huh? <laughs> Very good. Now say it in English. Hey, Alan? Yeah. Look, all I think I, you two guys are doing for the city of Baltimore is wonderful. You put a lot of laughs and a lot of humor into your programs, and that's what life is more about, laughs. All right, well, Tone, we appreciate that's the... Old uh, Tony's had a nice morning so far, he's very active. He's had a active. great morning. He's yeah. saying this is it. This Corn is what flakes, I orange juice. Come, come to live uh, by looking at TV and listening to the radio. That yeah. was good. Well, this has been fun. Are we and, all finished? Well, we're gonna, what we'll do is we'll take a little break. We'll come yeah. back. I'll say goodbye to you. Okay. And then Linda and I will tell you about the sensual makeover Ooh, for tomorrow, how you okay. can really uh, learn how to turn people on. Okay, stick around. We'll be back. On Friday, famous psychic Nancy Pisano will predict the future for you. things in life are as reassuring, as consistent, as downright dependable as your CMP dial tone and the CMP people behind it. We put value on the line. Polished, stick-on crazy nails. Reusable nails in beautiful fashion colors that never chip or fade. Stick-on tape and stick-on polished crazy nail. For beautiful nails a minute, stick-on crazy nails. Crazy glue, strong enough to hold this woman suspended in midair. Bonds almost anything. A plastic knob or rubber boot, model planes and model trains. The country's gone crazy. Crazy, crazy glue. Is this update, selection is up and prices are down at Lionel Kitty City Super Sale. Now through Wednesday, beat the rush and catch the super savings on hundreds of your favorite bikes, dolls, electronic talking dolls, electronic phaser toys, home computers and video games, board games, even action figures and vehicles. So hurry in and you'll get super selection and super savings. Now through Wednesday at Lionel Kitty City Super Sale. Let Lionel Kitty City turn us round, upside down. While staying in Baltimore, people are talking guests are chauffeured by Paramount Limousine Service, the best in chauffeur care. Well, there we are. There is the back of Paul's head again. Yep. Paul, it's amazing how you've kept your hair over the years because I remember when you were a little thin back there when I worked here many, 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 many years ago. And, and you notice how small our studio audience is. You have a great big studio audience. We have a studio audience of one. You know, so. Yeah. Well, this has been great fun, and I hope that all of our viewers enjoyed meeting Alan Perel, who is, I call you the madman of morning radio, but you sort of are that. You know, a little bit, sometimes, sometimes. How, have you, sometimes. how have you felt about this? I'm sorry to interrupt. I've, I really enjoyed it today. I, I, of course, being on television is always a lot of fun for anybody, and then, of course, meeting you and Linda again. And it's, it's just been a good time. And, I, and my people all came, and they were all so dressed up and pretty. You know, I'm, I want to thank my audience for showing up down there. <laughs> they look great back there. Yeah, they the, really uh, do. Yeah, up at uh, Television Hill. 
And I want to say goodbye to Alan Pearl. Maybe we can do this again in the spring sometime. Ooh, we'll, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. And now here comes Linda by the magic of a split screen. Watch what happens. You Ooh. see, you'll see me, and then Alan is going we're to just disappear. Going to fade away. And Linda's going to show up, and we're going to tell you about what's coming up in the next few days. Tomorrow on People Are Talking is Dr. Judith Kuriansky. Linda, this That's is right. a sensual makeover. Why do you say Linda? This is a sensual makeover. Well, because what, what do you mean, Richard? Because you wear something to bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is how to really turn yourself on and turn your bedroom and kind yes. of, that's going to be fun. What else? Oh, yeah. It is. Gabe Kaplan's going to stop by. He's in a new play here in town, and he's going to be right. talking about that. Tony Danza, sexy Tony Danza, is going to be with us. That's tomorrow. Tony live yes. from Hollywood. Yes. yes. Who's yes. the boss? Yes. And you know what? Bob Mackey, you all remember some of his fashions from the Carol Burnett show. He has dressed Diana Ross, uh, lots of famous, Cher, of course. He's going to be here. I don't know, maybe he'll leave a gown behind. What do you think, Richard? That's going to be uh, for you, of course. Uh, well, well, not for you. <laughs> and, we well, don't want people to talk about that. You never know. In any case, also later in the week on Friday, Nancy Pisano, who is our super psychic, will be here to take your cause. And that is all coming up. And tomorrow, don't forget Dr. Judith Kuriansky and the sensual makeover and Tony Danza. And now we want to say goodbye to all the nice people we have met on WBAL Absolutely. Radio 11. And I know, Alan, if you can sort of... Uh, let him in. Let, yeah, you want to say goodbye to all sure. the viewers you've met. I want to say goodbye, and only temporarily, for the folks who are on radio. Goodbye to the television folks, and stick around. We're going to have the news and more of the Alan Pearl Show right after that. And we'll see you tomorrow at 9 That's on right. Baltimore's People Are Talking. People are talking from our studios. Goodbye. bag of bargains at Super Superfoods this week and treat your family to all the best. Spread smooth and creamy Pillsbury ready to spread frosting on any dessert. On sale this week, a treat to top off any meal.